Hello and a warm welcome to everyone. This is Sandeep and in the last video we saw that how we can inject constant values using Google Juice. Now in this video I am going to take the same piece of the code in which I injected the constant values and I just wanted to highlight uh, a fact that how uh, Google Juice internally builds an object graph when you just ask for one object. So let's get started. So what we have done in the last video is we just requested for square request and we have these bindings, these all bindings present in the app module. So the moment when we request for a square request, it goes and consults the binding. It sees that there is no binding present for a square request. And it also knows that square request happens to be a concrete class. So after consulting the binding and seeing that the binding is not present and square request is a concrete class, it decides that it has to create an object of square request only uh, using the square request class. So it goes to square request class and it attempts to create an object of square request using this constructor. While fulfilling the needs of this constructor, uh, it encounters a draw shape. And then it feels that, uh, you know, in order to obtain an object of square request, a draw shape is needed. So it again goes and consults the binding. And since draw shape is an interface, its binding must be present in app module in the bindings. Otherwise, it would throw error. It sees the bindings and it finds that yes, there is a binding present. And whenever a draw shape is needed, it has to produce a draw square. So after consulting the binding, it's pretty sure Google Juice is pretty sure that it has to inject a draw square over here. So it goes to draw square class now. And here it attempts to create an object of draw square using this constructor. Now, uh, while encountering this constructor or while, while fulfilling the needs of this constructor, it comes to know that some constant values are needed over here, which are supposed to be injected. After that, it again consults the binding and it comes to know that these constant values after consulting to the bindings uh, can be resolved and can be injected over here. So after consulting the binding, it comes to know that a value of red and a value of 40 should be injected here in order to obtain an object of draw square. So Google Juice does that. Google Juice injects the value of red and 40 over here in order to obtain an object of draw square. Once a draw square is obtained, it gives it back and injects it over here in the square request constructor. And that's how it obtains a square request and gives me back over here. So in this end-to-end -end flow, you can observe that we just requested for square request, but then Google Juice internally builds other objects as well. I can say in other words that it had built an object graph, right? Uh, so same kind of situation might arise in your application also where you request for one object, but then it has to build the other objects also. Uh, what I wanted to highlight over here is that in these kinds of scenarios also you can take help of Google Juice in order to create an object graph in your application. The only thing that you have to do is configure these bindings at each level and then you can ask for uh, any object of any class and then internally it goes and resolves all kinds of dependencies after consulting to the binding and it builds uh, a long object graph and gives you back the requested object, right? Thank you very much.